president of the National Olympic Committee of this country, um, Dr. Paul Tergat, the representative of the French Embassy, uh, Lionel Fabi, or I don't know if I can pronounce well, um, the leadership of uh, various federations that are here, um, the Brand Kenya, uh, is it Brand Kenya? No. We have uh, uh, Magical Kenya. We are Magical Kenya, uh, uh, who are here, the CEO, who is here, my friend June, and the team that is here. I, I'm sorry if I fail to recognize you because of uh, failure to appreciate protocol, but I really want to appreciate the sponsors who are here, representing the various private companies who are here. I want to appreciate the athletes who are here, the various sportsmen and women who are here, and everyone else who has participated to make this very great success of the last Olympics uh, what, it, what it turned out to be. Uh, good evening. Good evening to everyone. Um, if I am a bit uh, having stage fright, it's because I am new to this ministry, so I'm not very sure how things were being done before. Uh, anyhow, I will try my best to fit into this. Where I was, there was very little interaction with human beings. Um, <laughs> we were having more interaction with the equipment and machines. Um, so the last one week has been exceptionally exciting for me because every turn is about people. Uh, more than uh, machines. First of all, thank you very much for inviting me to this very important occasion. And I want to say congratulations once again to our team for the work that they did. Congratulations to National Olympic Committee. Congratulations to the various federations uh, for making it to the Olympics and making sure that the teams are participating. To quote uh, Eliud here, uh, the most, the greatest thing anyone would want to do in Olympics is to participate. And participation in the first place is a great success. And as I said, when we had the celebrations in Eldred, uh, so many countries in the world are fighting so hard just to step in uh, uh, Olympics arena. And uh, for all of you who managed to participate, congratulations. Uh, on, this, on the other part, for all of you who won medals, the 11 medals that we won as a country, I'd like to say thank you very much and congratulations once again and very well done for the work you've done. Uh, to repeat what I said, uh, being a sports person, people never get to see what the amount of work that goes on behind the scenes for an athlete to be able to come and perform for either three minutes or sometimes uh, uh, 26 minutes. That's for 10,000, right? Yeah, I was thinking in my head because even if I try my best, like I will do in the Nairobi City uh, Marathon, uh, I have marathon, right? If I try to run my 10 kilometers, and 2A has my record, uh, General 2A has my record for the last participation, if I work so hard, maybe I will do 50 minutes for something, for 10 kilometers, where at least do 26 minutes so they can go twice before <laughs> i can make it so it's not easy um and the odds you know the things you go through i know you have to see a fisio you have to see a doctor you have to you know wake up very early in the morning you must be in a strict diet you know all these kind of things thank you for the sacrifice you make no wonder the bible uses athletes as an example saint paul says that i will um I will uh, discipline my body the way an athlete does. It's a very important uh, 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 discipline that makes an athlete be successful. So we really, really want to say we celebrate you. You are our greatest ambassadors. Uh, and Kenya is known more, not because of cabinet secretaries, not because of elected political leaders. It is known more because of our athletes. And that is the truth. In fact, our greatest brand ambassadors without sugarcoating and i'm not saying it is because i'm here 
it is a fact that athletes are number one and maybe uh, wild animals are number two. <laughs> yeah? Ordinary citizens are number three. Politicians are number four and beyond. <laughs> and it is true. If you walk, if you travel like we, I have done in many parts of the world, when you say you're from Kenya, either someone tells you Masai Mara or tells you Eliud Kipchoge or tells you Paul Tergat or tells you Faith or you know these athletes who have uh, you know over the years or or they even tell you Kipchoge Keino depending on the age of the person and the time they have lived and the athletes they understand that is why you are a very important people I don't know if I have said it enough you are very important people yeah if there is anything I can do as a cabinet secretary and as a ministry is to make sure that we do not just reap where we do not sow is to invest more in that which is giving us greater return as our country and i want to say that from the ministry perspective we are not here by accident as uh, sponsors it's because the ministry now has dedicated resources to make sure that we support our sportsmen and women to make sure that they achieve their potential and to be able to get the return that we need as a country we must put our money where our 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 our, our voices are and i believe that going forward we will continue investing in the infrastructure in grassroots in the in your trips when you go for for your for your um competitions to make sure that we get returns number two Considering that, uh, General, we have discussed with you, uh, General Tue, uh, over, and again, over, and again, over and over again about grassroots competition and academies and investment. This is something we should do also, not just for athletics, we should do for all other sports, whether it is football, whether it is uh, rugby, whether it is uh, swimming. We need to make sure that we have a clear policy framework of developing uh, our sportsmen and women from the grassroots and as i said earlier today when i was flagging off our our under 20 athletes who are going to lima uh, we need to we will do so by making sure that the sports policy that is outdated is updated to guide us on how we are going to achieve this and to work with the schools because that is where we really have greater benefit we can work with the schools with a clear policy framework between the ministry of sports and the schools and the federations so that we can use it to scout for our athletes our sportsmen and be able to develop them sometimes when i go for these international schools competitions uh, and even high school competitions you have very nice athletes uh, supported by their parents because they are fairly well to do and they have good facilities and they are playing rugby fantastic but they reach some stage they go to international schools out of the country we forget about them nobody follows up and they are not part and parcel of our national team we know what reynard fabish did in mid 90s with our football and i was telling the safaricom team here that chapadimba and other uh, 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 competitions in the country we need our coaches now to be also directed in scouting and getting road talent Put them into training and make sure that we use them to make sure that people who are still passionate to make to succeed rather than those who have got used to that anyway because i'm international enough i'm going to play and that's what fabish did in mid 90s for the football that can be done for all other sports and i believe we'll work together so i don't have the solutions to anything i came here to celebrate with you but also to ask you to work with us i do not know much I am a student in this sector. I'm willing to learn. I am not going to impose anything on you. If you can be willing to open up and we work together, I think we will achieve more than if, um, if directives will come from, uh, from the ministry. We, are, we do not have directives. We are just human beings like you. The experts are sitting here. And my responsibility is not to be an expert in sports. My responsibility is to be a leader, to help you organize yourself, channel the resources that we have, human resource, plus other resources that we have, to give us results. And therefore, because my office is open, I'm going to be meeting all the federations, I'll listen to ordinary Kenyans, I'll read your tweets, 
I'll read your Facebook messages. I'll read the WhatsApp messages you are sending to me. At least they have now reduced. Um, <laughs> it is no longer about Kusalimiana. Uh, I see my friend uh, uh, Dr. Bargoria here and their team and all that. Everybody who is working very hard to behind the scenes and nobody has noticed you to make sure that this is a success. I want to say congratulations to Antenna Sana and thank you for listening to me. God bless you. Asante sana.